Girl biker. Hey baby. All right YouTube, what is up? Welcome to today's video. So my vehicle inspection is due today. So I've got to go and uh, do all the paperwork and get the bike tested. So I thought I'd take you along with me and show you what you need to pass the vehicle inspection in Japan. So let's go. All right, so we just arrived at the second <laughs> second center. It's over there somewhere. But first thing we've got to do is go to that tester, Shaken tester, just to get our headlights and check the speedo. Free if we get 100 bikes done today, yeah, but I don't think we will. Not today. So, not today. So the speedo, you have to press a button on the floor in the tester when you hit 40 kilometers an hour on your speedo. Oh. So they'll check that as well. So if it's out, they'll tell us like oh press the button at 35 and then you'll be okay like oh. they just basically give us a, a hint on how to pass what, what button is that? Sorry. it's on it's on the floor in the test center there's like a pedal okay. and you hold it down until until the screen says 40 yeah. and then you release it oh. well when your speedo says 40 yeah. but basically you can bullshit it so if they say yeah do it at 35 just do it at 35 okay. Let's cheat the system, system fuck them Alright. <laughs> See that selection of incans they got there? Different people's names. Okay. Okay. High beam. Ah. <laughs> High beam. Come on. Hey, it's too bright, he said. So normally you can just put a piece of paper over it, but uh, this is too bright. Yeah. Ah. Uh, really? Hmm. We'll see if it will pass like this. All right, Andy's turn. Ah, uh, hi. Yeah, okay. Alright everyone, so we finished our paperwork. So just to do the check in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of paper. So I'm taking a picture of each one so I'll give you a description on the screen. I can't really show them to you because it's got my name and address on it. So paperwork is done, we've spent 10,000 yen on insurance, uh, about another 2,000 on stamps. How much was the uh, the other thing? The duty of it? Sen uh, the one that was like 4,000 or uh, Was it? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, there's so think, many. Yeah, so many things we have to pay for, <laughs> but 
basically we're all paid up for and we've got our official stamp so next we need to go into the line and actually get the bike checked out mm. the fun part so where the bikes are waiting I think we can just go straight to the front right let's wait our turn yeah as you can see I went to town on cleaning the bike Look at that wheel man, it's so shiny, look at the sprocket, it's so shiny! But I'm pretty sure it's going to fail. And he's probably okay, it's just me, which sucks. Alright, so this is the beginning of the line as it's called. First, before you come into the building, an inspector will come outside and check first of all your chassis number, check that your steering lock works, then he'll check your front and your rear indicators and your horn, and then just go around the bike with a little hammer making sure that nothing is loose hitting all the bolts like your brake caliper bolts and your rear axle bolts things like that then when you move inside the first check is emissions so you have to put a probe in your exhaust yourself and press a button on the machine and you wait about 30 seconds with the engine running and it will either give a cross for no good or a circle for test is okay then you move on to the brake and the speedo test as you can see here. First of all is the speed test. So you put your front wheel, if your speed sensor is on your front wheel, in the little roller. It rolls up your front wheel and then you release a pedal on the floor when it hits 40 kilometers an hour. After that is the brake test. So first is the front brake. Again you just put your bike into the little rollers on the floor. The rollers will spin automatically and then you'll have to jab on your front brake as hard as possible then you do the rear brake same thing and then you do the third one is the front and the rear at the same time just go 100% brake and see if it passes the test after that you move on to the headlight alignment and the headlight brightness which you can see here Sticky over there, I'll get the paper. Alrighty, so surprisingly my bike passed. The headlight was too bright, so basically I took the screws out of the front here and just held pulled the headlight like this so that the uh, beam pattern was reasonably okay and it passed. And he had tape on his headlights, he passed. So we've got all our paperwork complete now. So Next thing we got to do is um, go into this office here where it says like something Kensa box, hand over the paperwork and then basically we'll get a stamp that we need and a new sticker to put on our number plates. So I'll show you our number plates, fuck it, who cares, I'll blur it out but basically yeah this sticker here, so 2 is the year, so now in the Japanese calendar it's Reiwa 2 and the uh, month obviously seven being July so my I will get a new sticker there that will say they were four so two years and seven so basically we're we're basically both of our bikes now road legal for two years and included is compulsory insurance hey oh, I forgot my bag <laughs> okay I'll go and get it <laughs> you'll get arrested for stealing someone else's bag so Andy success dude we're all good. Two years road legal. Yep, apparently. So now you can put your Akropovich exhaust back on. I'll just take them off. Yeah, just run open headers from now on. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to put an exhaust on mine now. <laughs> Two years, no worries. <laughs> yep. All right, let's go and get our paperwork done. Sweating like, like an animal. <laughs> all right, success. We've got everything stamped. All that stuff is done, so now basically all we need to do is go and get our new sticker from the office across the way, and then basically we're done. I don't think I can get mine though because I haven't paid my tax. Stop swearing! But um, I'm going to try it anyway because once I got lucky and they let me have my new sticker without proof of tax. I think basically I'm going to have to go home, go to the go to the ward office, and then come back. So we will see what happens. All right. Thank you for
so much, man. No worries, dude. Catch you later. Peace. All right, another happy customer. So Andy's bike went through without a problem at all. And surprisingly, I don't know how, mine did too. So I managed to get my shack in, my inspection with an LED um, light bulb that was too bright and out of alignment and no proof of tax, which is the big no-no in Japan. But um, in the office that I showed you before, the, the guy was pretty old and I kind of guide what we call gaijin smash you know like when you talk really fast and you don't speak good good Japanese and you're like yeah but I, I mean like, like you speak really fast English and then they just generally go ah, ah, my brain has melted there's a foreigner and uh, stamp so basically that's what happened he just stamped the, the paperwork and I got the sticker so basically I'm road legal for two years now so I would go out and do a celebratory wheelie but as you can see i'm not wearing any protective gear today but before i do leave an old guy a really old guy just turned up on this sexy ass desmo 750 f1 which sounded amazing obviously it's got the fairings removed but man it sounded good and it's really nicely nicely done like i guess that's factory but the oil cooler just under the headlight like that super cool I'd love something like this with the bar and mirrors on it too. Proper cafe racer. No air filters, just trumpets on it. Sick looking bike. Old as shit, but I'd love to have this. So, that's it. Basically, we're done for the day. So, I'm going to go home, have myself a nice, cold, non-alcoholic beer. Alright, I might do a little bit of riding on the way home. Let's get on the road.